do people's eyes glaze over when you talk about your research? And what we're seeing is a spike, a significant spike in the rate of neurogenesis and gliogenesis in the infant monkeys following, of course, the dose rise army model. But also at many distances, however, also many synapses away. And that is often the more sample. Do reporters hang up on you when you talk about your work? Hi, thanks for having me on your show. We're really excited about our latest find multiple epigenetic regulators. And this is regulated by the extracellular milieu. Hello? Hello? If people run away, rather than listen to you tell them one more time what it is you do, what you need is a great elevator pitch. An elevator pitch should be a short, simple, clear and articulate description of what you do. It should be informative and engaging, even entertaining, but it should take no longer than the time it takes to get from the ground floor to the top floor of an office building. A good elevator pitch can help you get a person's attention instantly. It can make them want to learn more about your work, maybe even fund it, or write about it in the New York Times, or at least your local newspaper. So when you come to the meeting, bring along your best 30 second elevator speech and we'll give you a chance to try it out. You'll be surprised what a difference it can make. And this has enormous therapeutic potential for spinal cord injury patients after injury. Wow, that's fantastic. What important research. It is, absolutely. Yes, it's fascinating. Good for you. Thank you. So we'd like to invite you to take part in the first ever CIRM Grantee Elevator Pitch Challenge. All you have to do is give us your best elevator pitch in 30 seconds. And there's a fabulous prize for the winner. Here's where you go to find all the information you need to enter the competition.